Hey guys, what is going on? So, earlier today there was an update to the achievements, also what is known as the task set, the completionist, the master quest cape, and basically the interface just got a big overhaul. So as you can see, right here we have the overview, which shows how much achievements you've completed, your most recent completions. I haven't done any recently, that's why there's none there. And also, there's a almost there, which gives you some idea what you're almost completing, but it doesn't really tell you what that's for, you have to kind of look it up. Also, if you look here, you can see a selected path which allows you to choose one of these and you can see a pathway to completing it. Like, so here's stuff for a new adventure to do. So basically, this is just the old path. And, well, pretty much any novice quest and that doesn't really have any requirements. Then there's the new combatant, which Kind of gives a more combat oriented idea, but it doesn't really get too much of anything different. For the next one is the Trollheim Teleport, which basically tells you how to get the Trollheim teleport spell, which is basically you have to do everything that up to Edgar's ruse. And you also have to have visited the God Wars dungeon at least once, visited the knight and gotten the scroll and all that. Then there's the God Wars dungeon teleport, which basically tells you what you have to do for the mighty fall. And so as you can see down here, you also have to have gone to the God Wars dungeon before and you have to have done the Mighty Fall quest. So as you can see, there's also a little caption which tells you what you have to have done before. or at least had the requirements for. Then there's the Lunar Spellbook. So not too much there, Ancient Spells. Ancient Curses. As you can see, this requires uh, quite a bit more. Then there's the open city of Priftinus, so this is everything you have to do in order to get it into Priftinus, which basically means everything that you have to do in order to complete and up to Plague's End. Finally, there's the bossing, which shows whether you have at least one kill in that boss, and also if you can do it. So, if I 
As you can see here, there's the Queen Black Dragon, which requires level 60 summoning, which I don't have on this account. Harakim, which requires the Elder Kiln. The Legions, which require 95 Slayer. The Twin Furies, Vindicta, Hellwear, and Grigorovich, which all require 80 in a skill. Okay, so moving on, there's the actual achievements. So you can see here, there's a list of skills and also shows if you've achieved that milestone or not. So as you can see, I need to do a bit more on this account, but if we... And if we... Go over to my other account... You can see that it does go higher beyond 199 if you have come completed the 99 in that skill and it's an elite skill or rather that it's a skill that you can get mastery in so moving back to the other account as you can see there are the areas and Kind of been, they're kind of in a weird way, and uh, they did, just don't seem all that organized as well as they used to be. Like go to Lumbridge or Bellador, and it, you have to go down instead of just being able to scroll across. Also, uh, unless you are in the more general area tab, then you won't see what it is or what level it is at. So as you can see here, you can see easy, medium. Also, uh, once you get to one that you cannot complete, they will be sort of shadowed in red. So for this, there are ones that I cannot complete. But as you can um, this is just a sort of small thing which it only takes you to the task. It doesn't actually say what it is when you, you're in a more general area. But it would be nice overall if they did have something like this where if you open up a medium then it would open up all the medium ones. If you opened up the hard ones it would open up only the hard ones. Then there's PVM, so we got solo. Group boss, raids. And just general, though there really isn't too much here. Then you have completionist. So there's the completionist cape, there's trend, and there's master quest cape.
finally, there's the tracker, which basically is sort of like the overview, but it shows a bit more about the areas, PVM, completionist, and skills. So, all in all, there. It is nice from a general standpoint, but for more specifics, it does get a bit more weird. So, like, if we go here, there's solo PVM. Group PVM raids and general, but they don't really have too much. And then this just is pretty much the same as the general areas tab, which basically shows you a list of the achievements and Basically, by clicking on it, you can get go to it. So that's pretty much it for our death. It wasn't too much to him, but. It, they collect things a bit better than the before. So at least that's nice, even if I do wish that it did do a bit more. And the part where it categorized them was part of the actual tab a bit. So, like, say, if Ardoin had. The Ardoin Easy, Ardoin Medium, Ardoin Heart, and Ardoin Elite. That would be pretty not nice to see. But that's pretty much all there is to see in that, so. Now I'm going to show off the other thing that came with this, which is another community event. So first we talk to Menowin. So yeah, well, like other community events, this will have two skills every day and you will have to do them in order to progress in it. And it kind of depends on how much the community goes into it as well. So as you can see, there's magic and farming for today, and also you will need to get tools for this, which you get 100 basic tools every day, and you can get golden tools either from this guy or from Treasure Hunter. So yeah, it's pretty much five days, pretty much like the other events. So what you get from this is the mystical staff, which 
you get at the end of the event, and also you can eventually get an override of it. So that's what it looks like. I'm not too much of a fan of it, but I'll do it just for the XP and the uh, well, the boxes. So, since I would... So I guess I'll do farming for this because I needed to get to 75 for plagues and that more than I do magic. Like magic I can train more easily. So as you can see the experience using the golden tools is pretty nice. And while you may not get as much from the basic tools, you do have a hundred of them per day, so it's not too bad. Like it was fourteen hundred and fifty some compared to sixty, but still you do have a hundred of them and they don't go away right away, so that's pretty nice still, so even if you don't get any golden tools, you can still get a good amount of experience. Also, I can kind of expect what the it's gonna be like for tomorrow. It's probably gonna be either probably gonna be wood cutting and fletching. So, if you need help with those skills, and I'm pretty sure those will be what it'll be tomorrow, given that we're supposed to be growing a tree today. So we have, we'll have to cut it some. And some people will be doing the wood cutting, and some people will be doing the fletching to turn it into something. And then I'm pretty sure that crafting is going to be another one because, well, you kind of need to craft together the cloth that the bear will have. I'm not too sure about it, what any other skill will be. So, I... have an idea, but it's not going... However, this doesn't seem like something that I can reasonably imagine what it will be, so uh, beyond what I've already suggested. Also, right now there is a competition going on for 
the combat pet, so if you gain experience in a combat skill, you have a chance of getting a, that combat pet. So, sort of, pretty much like the skilling pets, but for the combat skills that didn't get anything before, which means attack, strength, defense, ranged, magic, prayer, and summoning. I've already put in an idea, and I got a few more that I plan on putting in uh, later. But uh, if you guys have any ideas, the, there is an article about it which details what you have to do in order to enter the competition. So, what you can do is Basically, you can either send an email to competitions at jackx.com with, with the name of your pet, the, your display name, and what the skill that the pet comes from. And also, if you want, you can put a description of the pet like I did, just to kind of help with Getting an idea for dialogue options. So, out of all of them, and it might seem weird, but I think that the hardest one to decide on would be the summoning pet because. That's summoning animals and creatures is pretty much what we really do with summoning. So you have a ton of options from that. Although some of the more likely options are probably going to be the pack yak, the wolpertinger, the maybe the wolf, and. Maybe a Chibi Titan or a Chibi Minotaur. I think those could be interesting. I've already put in an idea for a Constitution pad, but... I've also got an idea for an Attack pad, as well as a... A strength pet. Oh, uh, I forgot to mention there is another way to enter the competition, which is to, if you have an Instagram, you can put it on there. So, and there is a condition, but I'll see what it is. Checking out what it is. Oh, you can also enter it on Twitter or Instagram using the hashtag MyCombatPet, but you will also need the details I mentioned before. But you can't put them on the image, which would make things easier. And then um, once all May 9th comes around, which is the deadline for this, and uh, The ninja team will pick the top five for each skill, and then these will be putting uh, in-game polls. So, and of course, whichever one has the highest total will win. The ninja team will design and animate it, and then it will be put in game whenever the combat pets are put in. And once again, the 
Skills that are to be done for this are attack, defense, strength, constitution, magic, ranged, summoning, and prayer. I pr think I might have led one or two of those out before, but... Also, it does have to be original art, like, you have to design it all completely yourself, because these will go in game and they don't want any copyright issues. And you can make as many submissions as you want, but you can only enter one at a time. Furthermore, if you go on to RuneScape Reddit, then you can see a lot of good ideas there. Like, and even the RuneScape Twitter page highlights them sometimes. Okay, so I'm back. I just had to do something. Anyways, uh, yeah, if you want to submit something, you can either go to Twitter, Instagram, or email them. And then there's a chance that your idea will be put into the game. But uh, yes. Oh, and you just need a good concept. You don't really need to, for it to be too good if you're not that good with drawing or painting or anything like that. So going back to this, uh, again, it is only five days, but it like the standard community events, and it's two skills a day. And it is also what you get is completely dependent on what the community does, so. If people start getting bored, then you probably won't get the items. I think that's how it works. As you can see, I am making good progress even with the basic tools, so I got not even halfway done, and I'm already made quite a bit of good progress with farming.
So I know I've been kind of absent a bit with some of my videos. It's partly that I've had other things to do and partly that most of the things have just been kind of small lately, so... Given how busy I've been, it has been a bit lackluster in trying to do, do a video considering how small it would probably be. Like, this was only going to be like 10 minutes at the, when I started, but... I decided to keep going just because I was planning on mentioning the, the combat pad competition a bit, but ended up going a bit longer. So as you can see, there is quite a few people here, so we'll probably get pretty far in it, and I'm pretty sure of, but whether we'll complete it or not, I think it's more up in the air. I did decide to get back into this account because I kind of wanted to do the 6 city kill again, like the quest of it, but obviously you can't do that on an account, so you have to, I made this all so I could do those again. And also, uh, since I got matched, I haven't really found myself wanting to do a whole lot on that. So I'm pretty much halfway there with this. Uh, there have been posts on the forums about how frequently they've been putting out these events where you have to kind of pretty much do them. And also how grindy they can be, but... And I kind of agree with that, considering that this is taking in quite a while for something that you have to do once a day for five days, and a lot of people don't have a lot of time. I'm pretty much just gonna end it here. I really can't think of anything else to talk about. So, until next time, I'll see you guys later.